Kin of the North. And this is Carrie. I thought I'd do a late night, sat Saturday late night Sims gameplay. Okay, so we're going to do some home remodels on Sims 4. And this is just the base game of Sims 4. Nothing special. I've worked on a couple houses already because I had to practice playing Sims 4 on Xbox because I'm used to playing on PC. And I currently suck at playing Sims 4 on Xbox. <laughs> I've been playing Sims 4 on PC for probably since the original Sims came out. Well, I was a teenager, so it was like 15 years ago. This is my first time ever playing on Xbox, so I had to practice. So let me show you so far what I've done. Here's a house I worked on a couple days ago to practice. This was my practice. Okay, so here's one of my houses that I made as my practice house. And it was just one of the uh, cheap basic ones that you can move a sim into automatically when you first build a sim. So I believe this house started at 15, 16,000, I guess. <laughs> now it costs 95,000. Realistically though, in the real world, I would legit buy this house for 95,000. Has a nice fence, gate, little pool. And let me put it in night mode because it looks way better in night mode. There we go, night mode. So I play around with a lot of lights in Sims when building the houses. Got some Christmas lights here. And this is just like an outdoor enclosed area where you can paint. Let me try to open it up a little more. Yeah, so this is like an outdoor area. Some planet lights there and our easel chess game. And then you can walk out the door to the pool, have a barbecue. Here's my front porch. Put some nice little lights there. Then you walk in and the first thing you see is the kitchen, which I did a black and white accented kitchen with a subway tile in the back and then brick walls this living room it's like super european vintage i want to say so this is just one bath one bedroom house pretty expensive for one bedroom one bath but it's got some good stuff in it and then here's the bedroom which looks super modern but with some twist of some vintage design kind of looks like maybe a like a english or a french bedroom this is where you stream, right here. And then you walk out these doors into that little area. And let me show you the other one. So this one is more like a cottage. Yes, this one's like a cute little English cottage. And it has a wraparound porch. So this is how I remodeled this one. Added the porch. And this will started out as a one story. And I turned it into a two story. Tried to make a loft out of it, but that really didn't really work. So I was like, never mind. Here's the downstairs. So here is the living room, the dining room, kitchen, and a nice bathroom. The bathroom's huge. And then you come out here. There's like this door right here. So you can come out here to this walk, kind of this enclosed porch right here. I haven't put anything in it. Wasn't sure what to do, so I just left it blank. Um, And then you walk out here, and there's a nice little gathering area backyard garden right here to plant seeds nice pool sitting area and then you hang out with your friends right here and let me put this in night mode too see i like working with detail on the house and i think when i finish that's when i put all the lights on and it makes it just stand out yeah so i got the pool i put some lights over here in the rocks lights around the house and then I have these big lights right here. So yeah, this is my cute little cottage and the other one was kind of more modern. Now let's rebuild the other one. Oh, okay. Oh, this house is like right next to a park. So you don't really have to do much outside, look like. Oh, I like this. Okay, so here is the top floor. Looks like there's kids room, 
master bed, two master bedrooms, right? Two kids room, this huge master bedroom, this big bedroom right here. This upstairs is lacking a good bathroom and there's no master bath. So I'm wondering if we should turn this room into a master bath slash closet for this master bedroom. Don't really like that there's a door off of the kids room with a balcony. So I think I'm gonna move the little girl's room over here. I'm going to turn this into possibly another kids room and then maybe turn this part into an office. We'll see. I don't wanna put the kids room where the balcony is though. Okay, now let's check out the downstairs. Downstairs doesn't have a bedroom down here. So it's just four bedroom. This is huge. What am I supposed to do with this? Huge living room, but tiny decor. <laughs> Over here are the living rooms. Is there a fireplace in here? Not sure where a fireplace would really go. Maybe here? I think we're gonna put up a fireplace right there. That will put more stuff in the living room, make it exciting. Tiny little bathroom. Huge dining room. Tiny kitchen. We're gonna open up the kitchen. We're gonna make this a huge dining room, but we're gonna do something exciting. With it. Maybe put a piano in there. And then here's the outside. That's a bit lacking. Okay, so the house has a walkway that connects all the way around. The garden's boring. Don't think we need a pool, but we need to spruce up that garden. All right, so first things first, I get inspiration from decorating the outside of the house. And then I bring in the color and the decor from the outside. What color should we do? I keep thinking blue. Blue keeps popping up. Let's test out blue. Can't do stone, even though all I want to do is a stone house. <laughs> See, I was thinking kind of a more darker blue, but I don't really have that. Guess we'll have to stick with this blue. Okay, I'm just gonna see what this looks like. It's definitely looking much better. Even the thinner paneling looks good. So I kind of like this. What I don't like is the color of the pillars. Do I want to change those? Okay, let me see what it looks like. White. Eh. I know some people are probably, probably like, oh, the white looks good. <laughs> but I think I'm going to like it with a darker color. Not that dark. Uh, let's see if we can change these all together. Or do I have to delete them? <gasps> Ooh. Can we do this? Would that fit? Hey, we're going to try that. Okay, so it looks like I gotta delete these, which is fine. I don't really like them. Before I make any rash decisions, we're gonna test this out. This is the one I was eyeing. I don't know if I want gray or I don't think I want white. Eh? I think we're gonna stick with this square one. It kind of matches the trim on the roof, too. Do they not have one over here? Yeah, these pillars make it like so much more grandeur. All right, now I gotta delete all the rest of them. Any more, any more? Oh, yep, over here. Yeah, why would you put a kid's room off of a balcony? Not cool. Unless it's a teenager, that would make sense. Pretty. Did I have one there? I don't think I like it right there. No. They did not have one there. If they did, this ain't working for me. I think we're definitely gonna have to change this, uh, Railing too. Put it right there. There we go.
right there and right there. And one more. Yeah, I don't want to overload it with these things because they're so thick. Okay, so we gotta change this railing too. Ooh, I used this one last time and I love it. I think I gotta see it on this whole side to really know. Just for kicks. No. Definitely not. No. Nah. I think I'm definitely gonna go with this one. But I'm gonna go with white. Cute, cute. They have the same fencing out here. We're not gonna do the same one, but I probably won't keep that. Okay, so now we gotta change the color of our trim, which is right here. They also have some decor. What are they called? Freezes. Phrases. Freezes. Freezes. Freezes, phrases. So they have white and... Oh. No, too dark. It's between this blue and this blue. Yeah, I'm kind of liking the blue on blue. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so... We need this trim. Yes, I like this. Should I do white or blue? Let's see what this looks like. I like that. No, I like the blue. Be way too much white there. Do we have white? Yeah, I like the white. Okay. Let's do the white. White with the blue accent. Okay, so our trim is still green on our roof. White? Might have to do white because I don't even see a blue. Brown, brown. So this is what we got so far. Ooh, I love the blue. Yeah, that looks way better. Okay, so I just need to change the roof. The one I always go for is this one, because I just like the way it looks. Not sure if I like that color. Maybe we should do gray. Yeah. Let's do gray. That looks snazzy. Gotta change the railing on the stairs. White. Nice. Now we're gonna change the brick. Oh, should we stick with the geometric? No. <laughs> That's horrible. I like that. No. And oh. I really like. I don't usually choose the. Uh, what's it called? The lattice foundation. But I like it. Yeah. I'm going to go with that. Just feel like it still gives it that geometric design. Okay. Am I all done with this? The outside I'm all done. Uh, actually, I might change the top of the porch. Let's see. This house definitely needs some flowers in the windows. This one's a tough one. If I had it my way, I'd just have, like, dirt and flowers all over it. Oh, wood. Like a white wood. Kind of like that herringbone.
I keep going back to the herring. Let's just do the herring bone. I'm gonna do herring bone down here too. Like, this seems like a waste of space. I feel like there should be a balcony out here. Wait a second, how do they round theirs? What? How do they round theirs? I gotta Google this. Hang on, if you want to know how to do this. Apparently a lot of people want to know this. In build mode, go to the walls and room section. You should see options for curved foundation and decks. Plop down a room with a curved fence and replace it with the fence sire. Oh. You have to make it into a room first and then replace the walls with the fence. That makes sense. I would have to redo this entire thing for that to work. <sighs> I'm gonna test it out. I could just gonna test it out. Can we put a half wall up? Looks like it has to be a pre-curved. Oh! We just want a small one. I just need my curved. <gasps> it worked. That's how you do it. I lost half my flooring though. Looks like we kind of had up to redo this a little bit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Please work. Oh, don't want to do that. You'll get rid of that room. Okay, so we got our, uh, bad. Yay, it worked! Now, the only thing is I have to see if I can replace this fencing that they automatically gave you. Why did you disappear on it? All my trim just appeared. Okay, let's see if we can replace that. Replace work. Ah, uh, kind of work. Yes. There. So that's how you put a curved fence in. There, that looks better. And then we'll make this area usable so it's not connected to a kid's room all right so that and this was part one of rebuilding one of the mansions on sims we made the house blue and then we'll see what we'll do next on part two i think i'll start going on the inside i don't really do the yard till it's done but the whole outside now inspiration for what to do on the inside so thank you for watching and um Hope you liked it. <laughs>